So cigarettes and gas, $79.70. What do you mean? Maybe we could, um, trade. Trade? What's it like? Well, try it out. That's awesome. Dude, you look and sound like a psycho. Oh, hell no. Makes it more exciting. Look at Jesse. What is this? Who are you? I don't recognize you. Well, she took it. I guess that's it. That was a little bit odd from Jesse. What is going on here? Oh, hey there. <clears throat> Let's go with that one. How does it feel? Trouble. Ted Benick, you cannot be serious. Oh hell no! I forgot about that. Now what are you guys gonna do with this? Screw them all! I'm not going anywhere. Suit yourself. I would have loved to see that. Oh, no, 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 no. Walter, don't do anything stupid. What the hell? Oh my god. Don't do this. Count to ten. I'm sorry, Mr. Benneke's on a conference call. Mm. Walter, please, you don't need this. Oh, look at him. He is raging. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ted is hiding uh, in darkness. You. I can see you standing right there in your office. Now, come on. Walter, you are scary. What are you gonna do? Just open the door and let's talk about it, okay? He's like, call the police. But seriously, Walter, don't you understand the situation? If you do something, the police will get involved. Oh. Yeah, Walt. Walt. What are you doing? I'm talking with Ted. Are you? I feel like you're about to kill him. Next time, you'll open the door. Oh my freaking god, and just okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, I'm calm. I'm calm. Are you calm? I don't think you are. W what are you doing? Yeah, good job. You act like you're the first guy this ever happened to. I exactly, can't act like a kid. What's up with your temper? How did you know? Oh, that's just my meticulousness. Don't. Bog down so, in detail, Walt. The lesson here. Will he realize? Bug my house. Uh, maybe. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no. Saul, you might die in this episode. And dude in the background, you're gonna do something? Oh my god. He is not messing around. You're fired? Oh, boo -hoo, I won't cook meth anymore. You're a crybaby. Who needs you? He'll be back. I bet he'll be back. I want him out now. Uh, you just bought a three hundred dollar suit, psycho! This case, like the dad. So just make sure you get all of those things. A, these things cost eight hundred dollars a piece. B, you're that's not expensive. That I love that answer. He's like Walter. Who do you think you are? You're not that interesting. At least not to me. What is no, going on? Walter. Sometimes it doesn't hurt to have someone watching your back. That's true. If you just knew Walter. You were about to die. Is that a warning? I bet it is. Like, we are watching you. So what is it now? Mr. White? Hey, wake up! What are you doing? What's up? What do you mean, what's up? Is this a Wheaton Terrier? What is going on with him in this episode? Nothing. Why do you care? Well, could, could you come back over here and have a seat, please? My dude is high on something. What? With his smile. What is he doing? Are you feeling okay? No, no, he's not feeling okay. Call an ambulance or something. Dude, Carmen will slap you. Well, hey! Oh, you are getting fired. Yeah, Walter, what the hell is wrong with you? So, guys, is that it for Hank? Is he going? You answer the bell, you pay your dues. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. That is my feeling at least. Whatever, you know, I I want to go. You don't want to go. <laughs> She's calling you out. She knows. Hank, you can't fool her. Things I'm supposed to be getting on a plane right now. What's the matter? What's the problem? So if this guy head was blue, you're sure about that. Going back? Yeah, I want to talk to him. Who exactly? Taxi. What? 
What about the plane? Yo, this is all just so chaotic. Oh, Jesse. Let's catch up. Come on. Hey, man, I'm sorry I needed to talk to you, but we weren't at your apartment. No, I moved back home. Yeah, he's back home. It's good, right? I don't know. Yo, is it? Did he just get fired? No. <laughs> Sabbatical. I think he got fired. Definite. Oh, I see. So that's how it is. So, um, one intro to your guy. Which guy are you talking about exactly? Yeah. Gus? One thing I'm good at. No, that. I feel like Jesse is serious true. about this. You're good at a lot of things, son. His attitude has changed. I'm not asking you to cook. I can do it myself. What in the hell is this? Oh, really? Yo, what the hell's your problem? All I'm asking is for you to set a meat. Dude, I don't get it. I mean, look at the diameters here. Do you have to roast him like that? I'm actually embarrassed for you. Is it that bad? Or are you jealous? I'll contact the guy myself. Oh yeah, well good luck. Do we always have to fight? Some things never change, I guess. That's how it goes. You two are just like water and oil. Can you please just get along? Or hold a civil conversation for once? I wish I could stay. You wish you could stay. What's stopping you? A lot, in fact. My lunatic husband refusing to leave the house. A lunatic husband? That's unfair. Oh, aren't you the answer, man? Can't believe this is still going on. Where'd it go wrong, exactly? If you were Walter. Can you talk about it? Something, I don't know, changed when you got sick or... <laughs> a lot changed. Yeah, I just don't feel really comfortable talking about it. Okay, we don't have to talk about it. Mel. The dude's name was Mel. See? You served an actual earthly function. But Hank, what about your trip? Was it Mel? Oh. Mark. Hell no. Mel or Mark. Well, you're useless. Let's stop this. I remember the muh sound. <laughs> Could you guys do something like this? Interrogate people? I'd be slapping the hell out of everyone. This is the reason why you're blowing off the task force? Chase down teeners? Oh. What is up with you lately? A lot. Is up. You need to talk to someone or what? This turned into a confrontation. I'm just worried about you. That's all. Appreciate that, bro. Wow, he is triggered. Hank, chill. You had your chance. I told you to get him cooking again, and you blew it off, and now it's too late. The guy's going mass maniac on us. On you, on everyone, pretty much. You want to see the scar? I wish you to. Hi there. <laughs> Hi there. What the hell? Yeah, the guy I made it. Guy. Right? Don't overlook me. Good news is, for a stage 3 cancer, the guy's doing well. Physically. Mentally, the guy's a disaster. Judging from this episode, I would agree. In my opinion, he's not coming back. Not on his own. And the thing is, the cartel is after him. They drew something on the street outside his Yeah, house. I saw that. Like some kind of warning. Does the lawyer know? Should he? No. Okay, if you say so. I'm not gonna speak. You're the only thing that stands between him and an axe in the head. I don't believe fear to be an effective motivator. I think you're right about that. Do the deal. These guys are all so interesting. Agent Schrader, you need to be calling me back ASAP. I've got Texas breathing down my neck and I'm not about... What are you doing? He's acting as if he has no responsibilities. Uh-oh. She got nervous. Look, I'm just gonna come right out and say it. Um, and he knows that. Bad liar. Yeah. You look like a good kid. I'm not here to get you in trouble, but you need to tell me where this came from right now. Yo, take it easy. I tried it and I Girl, resist. So come on. To Matt. Okay, who gave it to you? Some guy. Some random guy. Normal. Yeah. You know, um, white. What more? He had really. Lies. Too much information. It's real important that I find the person that had these drugs. I'm telling you everything I know and remember. You drove an RV. No! Please tell me that that camera works. No freaking way. I hope it doesn't work. That was a no. Yo, it would have been over. What is it? As if he saw something. Yeah? And what? He is really 
trying his best to find as much information as he possibly can. Bingo. I don't think I wanted to hear that. I like Hank, but still, I like Jesse as well. And Walter, of course. I don't want them to get caught. Hey, so Dad can babysit now, right? She's like, hell no. Sometime, maybe. Man, she's clever with her answers. Seriously, enjoy, yeah. Well, that dude is not talking much. No, no. No way. What do you mean? And the rest? Yo! Where's the other half, bitch? <laughs> Jesse is funny sometimes. Just the way he speaks. Are you going to El Paso, Hank? Hell yes! Nope, he's not going. Put 20 boots and bells on. Just I got this break in the Heisenberg case. Can you just be real? I traced it to a gas station in Cibola, and that's where I got these. I'm scared. Show us. It's no clear view of the plates. Yeah, well, you can only get so lucky, right? How helpful is this exactly? They need you in El Paso, Hank. You bet. I got to wrap up this Heisenberg thing first. So you're refusing the assignment? No, I'm not. I'll go. It's just I, I need some more time. How much time? Me, Agent Schrader. You're out of time. Yeah, it's now or never. It's a simple yes or no. Yeah, it is. A simple yes or no. Just be real. Come on. No. Okay. Well... There we go. But that's only because I'm really close to something big here. Nope, you're scared as well. And that's fine. Shouldn't you say something? It, oh, wow. He sounds super disappointed. For some reason, they really want Hank there. Our top story this hour, Donald Margolis, the air traffic controller, criticized for his role in the recent... Yeah, what happened to him? ...in which 167 persons died, was rushed to an area hospital early this morning. Apparently Why? ...the victim of a self Oh my freaking god. I'm not gonna lie. I expected something like that. Yeah, it's him. And Walter will be like, my half? For what? They're pretty much forcing Walter to be involved. That's a smart strategy for someone who's refusing. I would describe this episode as stressful, mainly because of Walter and Hank to some extent. Those two are not doing well, mentally speaking. Hank just doesn't want to go to El Paso. He'd rather try to catch Heisenberg. He's gone independent pretty much, doing his own little thing. And not even his bro wants to join him on the investigation. But I guess it's settled then. He won't be going. Why do they want him to go there so bad? Just leave my man alone. Slowly, but steadily. He's getting closer to Heisenberg. I feel like he might get there one day. I'm looking forward to that day. Or do I? Now then, speaking of Heisenberg. Well, it's been a while since we saw him in that form. Right now, Walter is more or less a big baby. Totally uncontrollable. Sky hooking up with Ted has made him lose his mind. I understand it. But dude, if you want to come out on top and overcome this, you gotta be smarter than that. Can't be attacking Saul, lashing out at Jesse, and even being creepy to Carmen. Someone needs to give him a slap. I feel like the roles are slightly reversed. Between Walter and Jesse, of course. Jesse has the cooler head currently. But not by much, he's still being sloppy. Anyway, Sky continues to hang out with Ted. Like seriously Walter, maybe you should get divorced? This is clearly not working out. I don't think you can repair the relationship even. Not after all the damage that has been caused already. It's probably time to move on. Sky isn't even trying to understand you. I feel like that's a pretty clear hint as to where things stand. But anyway, I suppose that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't know what to watch next, here's a video I'd recommend. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, I'd much appreciate it. Thank you.